disarm. Yes. Go ahead and look with superstitious awe. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Frost, we're here. What? Something set off my berserker rage. But why? Anyhow, we're here at Snowbell's Sanctum. To meet Mercer Frey. Hmm. I wonder who killed this horse. All right, Frost, you keep a safe distance. Let's see what Frey is up to. Good. You're finally here. I've scouted the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. You saw her? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. I see. She won't be using it to escape. Hmm. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. Understood. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Tell me something before we go inside. How did Gallus die? Twenty-five years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. So, Carlia took on both of you. Alone. Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. And Gallus? The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruins. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. And what happened after Gallus died? The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus's former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men and the Ratway became a bloodbath. And you were a part of this? I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered, and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. And what of Carlia? The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septums and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. Tell me more about this Carlia. She was a stubborn Dunmer. Always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. So, they had a relationship? If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. <laughs> Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. 
So then why did she kill him? Greed? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws her last breath. Isn't murder Dark Brotherhood territory? I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. It's probably best. Let's get going. I want her head on my mantle. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Hmm, this one doesn't look too difficult. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how, not a lot of skill. That should do it. After you. <laughs> ah, there we go. in here. This place smells of death. Be on your guard. Pull the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Looks like Carlia reset all of the traps. My stone flesh protected me. And who do we have here? So it begins. Be on your guard, I hear footsteps. Quite noisy for someone who claims to be a thief. <laughs> to tell you the truth, Mercer, I'm not trying to sneak. Swords. Let's see what you can do. Not much, I see. I've killed legions. 
Before we go any further, I see some chests here. Scroll of Volcano. I'll sell it. I'm amazed at my strength now. I no longer am using Malakath's enchantment to give me those dragony, fiery fists. This is my own strength. And with Muffle on, they can't even hear me approach. This shouldn't take long. What? All right, he's all yours. What? Where are you going? Unstoppable now. All right, it looked like there was a door back here. Let me check it out. Let's keep moving. got them and here wait something's moving up there now you're mine you see to that So indeed. All right, I need to indulge my archaeology for a moment. All right, let's keep moving.
Carlia always was a nimble minx. Slipping past these Draugr must have been child's play for her. Hmm. Just like it is for us. Yes, yes. What is it? All right, be on your guard. I hear footsteps. Berserker rage. Fun, Mercer, I know I am. <laughs> Scroll of Weird. sell it okay let's keep going we're on the right track she's been through here as well I think I heard chanting from a word wall Could be mistaken, though I don't hear it now. What was that? Now you're mine. That's hardly worth my time. I hope you don't mind that I invited some company. There is a word wall here. All right, let's see. Bombardment. Could probably sell that too. All right, 
excuse me for a moment, I have some dragonborn business to attend to. Hand disarm. Yes. Go ahead and look with superstitious awe. Let's go. You should have stayed in your sarcophagus. Here we go with a puzzle. And we have no dragon claw. Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. Yes. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carly is close, I'm certain of it. Now let's get moving. Honestly, think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. the light. What? Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? I can barely see. Give me a moment. I've, I've been poisoned. There. There. Better. Hold on. You shot me. No. I saved your life. Really? My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. Yes. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Hmm. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Why save me? 
My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer, but I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. You should have shot Mercer instead. I promise you, the thought crossed my mind. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. A I only year. had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Why capture him alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. How will you prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well, what's it say? I wish I knew. The journal is what? written in some sort of language I've never seen before. All right then, perhaps it could be translated. Enthe. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. The only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There's that word again. Nightingale. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. What is this, poisons? Mm, all right, so you're a poison expert, I see. Before I go, I must know the real reason that you didn't kill Mercer. Mercer lied to the guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. Hmm, might not have a choice next time. I can promise you if it comes to that and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Hmm, we'll see. All right, can't you come with me to Winterhold? I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Okay, th th this is something that I've never quite understood. Hasn't Gallus been dead for, what, over 20 years? And now, you're just putting his remains to rest. Does that make any sense? Anyone? Remember, speak only to Enther. Trust no one else. Hm. Very well. Please, there isn't much time. What is it? I'm leaving. I'm headed to Winterhold.